7.45 a.m. February 1st here at Aikens Ford and Wild with Izzy Winder. I was approaching this bad boy and from a distance I thought that this thing was on 35s. This is three inch leveled on 37s. I just want to show you this because this is a great representation of the substantial size of the Super Duty. Now, many times we show you 35s as well, but man, if you go run 35s on a factory wheel, to me, the proportion is just not there. You got to go with the aftermarket wheel to get the tire and wheel outward slightly. But this right here is a diamond covered edition, Bubba truck, a gate black over stone gray. You can see the subtlety of that stone gray in comparison to like the pale Adobe back in the day, like the 2013, 14, 15 range. It was more of a gold color. This is still a gold two-tone money setup combo to me, but it's definitely darker. And to me, but for, I don't know that like stone gray, I don't see any gray in this. I see straight up like a gold copperish hue. It's a gorgeous truck. So we're three inch BDS lifted on 37, 12 and a half, 20 Nitto Ridge Grapplers. And ordering these King Ranch trucks has gotten kind of difficult, even though I know Ford's trying to make it easier. So you, essentially you cannot get the two-tone combo if you do the chrome pack, it's the monochromatic. So the only way to get the two-tone combo is ordered in this fashion, but it gives you that wheel. So a lot of our customers, like uh, even Stephen Caldale, had to order the chrome package because they don't like that wheel overall, which I'm a fan of this wheel and the other one, but the other chrome PVD wheel is more popular overall I would say but this truck is amazing as far as the size and stature and that two-tone combo just screams King Ranch or even Lariat also up front too uh, headlight wise we don't have the projectors on the King Ranch which I'm kind of sour about as well but you do have the stone gray on the middle portion of the bars there and of course stone gray on the bumper a gate black uh, body color looking great so Look at this truck on 37s. Now, as far as running this factory wheel, if you do not go with like a Carly torsion sway bar, you can see we're rubbing right there. And just the ride quality improvement by changing this sway bar, going with a, a Carly torsion sway bar with end links is gonna greatly improve your ride quality overall. And we've got BDS dual steering stabilizers as well. So this truck's set up nicely and you can tell the spring is just more substantial than say the ready lift two and a half inch uh, core spring level kit, Fox 2.0, performance series shocks. I love this. As far as shocks overall, if you're looking for, I'm a Fox guy. So like, you know, the Bilsteins uh, have a slightly softer, supple ride quality overall but the foxes to me give me all that i need because of my towing needs off-road needs it's a slightly stiffer shock but not too much i'm a fox guy so i'm sticking with the fox i'm rolling with it but if you're just a dedicated everyday driver never towing anything the bilstein may be the the most supple overall ride quality but let's be honest if you got a super duty why aren't you towing something like something four wheelers <laughs> something pull something with this that's why we trust and roll with the fox predominantly but again you can see the two-tone combo here and you got the applique out back and check this out you know for me i love seeing this come from a different dealership because that means we are capturing uh business we capture plenty of business here at the Superstore, y'all. And this is a Superstore because it's a Crossroad Dodge Jeep Ram and Ford dealership. We got Retrax bed cover to go along with it. And then mild to wild scale, you can see right here, we are nice and tucked in on that factory wheel. You got, you know, a plus 40 offset in that range, BMW hitch to go along in the back and the King Ranch back here. All the details of the inlay King Ranch there. You got the King Ranch logo, Super Duty. So much potential here. Like this bad boy would look incredible doing that whole thing black with the stone gray inlay or flip it. I would love to see stone gray applique with a gate black as far as the letters and the detail. Look at this truck. You know, I'm a big two-tone guy, especially on the King Ranch. And I am a fan of the stone gray, now since we're talking about it, in comparison to the pale adobe, because it was so gold. It was kind of in your face, but again, that just still looked great to me, black over gold or white over gold. But nonetheless, you can see right here too, in the agate black, truck's not perfectly clean, but the agate black has some metallic flake in it that shows off a little bit of gold characteristic to me as well. So it really ties in so nice 
and this one's locked today y'all i really was just uh going back to my office and uh, knew we were working on this one and said oh boom it's done but then from a distance i was like i thought we were doing 37s and then but it is so i guess long story short i'm gonna end this thing by backing up a little bit and showing you what i was seeing i'm sorry about the shadows but i was seeing this right here from a distance and it is a perfect balance now i'm reviewing a truck later today it's a two and a half inch leveled on 37s right there the white one and that one to me looks more it looks more substantial and bigger because we're only two and a half inch leveled and then we've got an aftermarket wheel so uh long story short hit that subscribe button because i'm showing you that truck later this truck now and that what's going to give you the perspective of how to take your truck to the next level hopefully with us at acres forward and wild willies another thing whether you buy the truck here obviously or somewhere else alabama i don't care where we'll do whatever it takes to show you that we're the legit top tier leader in everything auto and everything custom <coughs> peace out